Guys, this is our CCNA rack, okay? Here we are having four routers, right? This is R1, R2, R3 and R4, okay? This is 2911 series of router, all right? And these are four switches we have. This are Cisco Catalyst switches, that is 3550. These are all layer 3 switches, which is capable of doing routing also. I am having two firewalls, all right? And all are interconnected with each other. When we are doing the cables, see here you will be able to see the ports of router. Can you able to see? Gig 0 slash 0. Gig 0 slash 0. If you want, you can remove this. And this is how we connect it. Okay. These are all data ports of the router. And all these data ports are connected to the switch. How it is connected? See, this is F0 slash 1, F0 slash 2, 3, 4. Likewise, it is connected. Okay. How do you exactly know that which is connected to which port? Can you able to say? No. So that is why we have this topology. And is it possible for me to take the access of the switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, switch 4? Yes, it is possible. But not every time singly, individually. It is not possible for me. Why? Because every time I have to connect to this particular device and I'll connect it to my laptop. This device I want to get access. Again, I'll connect to this device and my laptop. Every time it is not possible. Rather, what we are doing, here we have the server. So all these devices are connected to this particular server. Okay. So the console port of this R1 is connected to server. R2 is connected to server. So once I get the access of this particular server, I will be able to get complete access of all the devices. Rather than plugging in each and every device for the first time, directly I am plugging into this particular server. After this, I will show you how to get the access of each and every devices by getting the access of this particular server. Okay, that I will show you in our real-time lab.